Conservative MP David Davis, one of Andrew Mitchell's close allies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I know he's not giving interviews, but I'm just looking at the statement he's issued. And he said there should be public concern about the fact that three officers were able to secure a meeting with a democratically elected cabinet minister under false pretenses, openly misrepresents the contents of that meeting, and on the back of that misrepresentation, call for his resignation at a press conference they'd assembled for the purpose and yet face no disciplinary consequences for their behaviour. He's um, not pulling his punches. No, and why should he? I mean, as, as the, the evidence that you've been, your, your, your audience has been hearing uh, from uh, Nick Robinson and others, the tapes and so on, all available to the police uh, people, the police uh, policemen investigating this uh, this issue, uh, and yet they seem uh, unable to see that there was a premeditated campaign, admitted by the Fed's PR company in its in its own blurb, uh, that there was clearly a meeting held under false pretenses. He was told it was going to be private, no press, and so on. Uh, and of course, as we know from the tapes, what they came out, what they described happened in the meeting was simply not true. Now these are officers who can arrest you and me. They can charge you and me. They can turn up in court and give evidence against you and me. And yet when they go in for a premeditated uh, dishonest action like this, you, uh, the, the, their own police force th don't, doesn't think that's a mm. misconduct. Well, you know, that, that, that does actually require really rather a sharp response. And we just heard from Simon Chesterman of West Mercia Police saying that they don't, well, they don't appear to have changed their mind about that. No, well, I mean, this, this, is, you know, this is what's astonishing. And I, and I do think that one of the consequences of this, not for Mr Mitchell, there's a bigger consequence out here. Uh, and that will be people will start to think, you know, can we allow police forces to investigate their own misdemeanours in future? Because, frankly, they don't appear to be able to understand that when something a police officer does seriously undermines his ability to do his job. Nevertheless, as we heard from Nick Robinson, important though this is, it is not uh, an answer to the central question of uh, the whole affair, which is exactly what happened and what was said in Downing Street on, as the police might say, on the night in question. Yes, but I think, uh, I mean, that's, that's going to come later. I mean, we're, we're, the Crown Prosecution Service, I think, have got the file now and they are pouring over it to decide what they do about it. Uh, but, you know, the public at large has also seen a TV company broadcast the video, broadcast uh, clear, bogus uh, attempts by uh, police officers to represent themselves uh, as civilians, to represent themselves as witnesses, bogus attempts to represent themselves as witnesses. All these things have led to arrests, so... So I think at some point uh, we're going to see the Crown Prosecution's outcome to that, but at the moment the public at large, I think, feel that Andrew uh, Mitchell has suffered a major injustice, I, and I, I agree with him. I, I see in his statement that he talks about the time he's had to wait for this matter to be resolved. Do you have any idea when the Crown Prosecution Service might actually reach a conclusion? Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm loath to give you an estimate because we've been waiting for it and we've been told it's coming any time for a very long time. Um, but uh, I'm hoping it'll be in uh, the next week or two because they have the files. Uh, Keir Starmer, the uh, Director of Public Prosecutions, was on the BBC at the weekend and was asked this in terms and said he's going to do it as quickly as he can, reasonably. So I'm hoping it's going to be pretty soon. David Davis, very many thanks. This morning's Ofsted report...